Welcome to a walk around the hip. So we're going to move the body around the hip joint. So start with a triangle pose. If you're feeling a bit clunky, have a warm up first because we're just diving straight in for a short practice. So opening up and then coming to your Trikonasana, Vittita Trikonasana or triangle using bricks if you prefer. Wherever you want to be in your pose is good. Reaching and opening up. Maybe you want a little bit more opening across the chest. So you can feel that in this right leg, we've got some external rotation, if you've gone to the right. That left leg, probably if you've turned the toes in, there's a bit of internal rotation of the hip joint inside of the pelvis. And we're gonna keep moving all the way around this right hip initially. Just explore what's your awareness doing. Can you feel the earth beneath the feet? How do you feel in that right hip? How much length can you find through the side body and ease for the neck and the shoulders? Good, and now look down, let your hip turn forward and we'll go to Parsvottanasana. So you can see that we're just literally revolving the body around this right hip joint. You can have the legs straight or more bent, whatever works for you, heel up or down. If you're feeling more tight in the hamstrings, you'll be higher. Find your breath here. If you want a little movement, you could bend the knee and pull back a few times. Steady breath in and out. So we're going to go all the way around and then we're going to explore this right hip one more time before we go to the other side. Good. And then start to find your reverse triangle, your revolved triangle. So we could bring that right arm behind and pull, pull, pull forward through the spine. Just kind of turn and glide. So notice how that rotation of the spine still affects around that right hip. You can still feel it. You may prefer to go from a higher position, pulling up with the left arm and then leading forward through the spine. You could even stay high and not bring the arms down at all and just kind of reach with the arm. So see how far you want to go. Again, where's your awareness? Where's your breath? Just really make it an exploration for you, being in this body and seeing what it's telling you. Good, I'm gonna keep going around now. So lift your hands, swivel. There's a little bit of footwork going on here because potentially you could end up on the outer edges of your feet going into a forward fold, maybe with some bricks for extra support, something like that. If your ankles don't like that, you can probably manage to get your feet down so just see what happens. <laughs> I've ended up with my back to you. And then from here, you can maybe lengthen the arms forward if that feels nice. And so now what you notice is all of the abductors, abductors, all of the outer leg, outer hip, both sides, but probably particularly that right side. And we'll probably be staying with that as we lower. So you're going to find a way. I'm going to do a little hop, but you may not need to, to bring the knees down. And then I think I'm just going to turn around so I can see you. <laughs> Let your torso come forward a little. And maybe rock your weight forward, backwards, so you can still feel the hips. Or you may just want to sit back down into your gomakasana it is. Feel free to sit up onto props if that works better for you. Whatever feels good. Just have a few more breaths here. If this is quite an unforgiving sort of a pose for you, then either keeping hips high or letting this knee lift up works a bit better usually. Yeah, fantastic. So now for the next little challenge of walking around this right hip, we're going to lift up through the body, lift up through the torso, find a little bit of balance because we're going to have to lift that right leg. Maybe take your arms wide. Good. And then take the leg out to the side and simply lean into that right leg a few times. Rocking, exploring, maybe circling. You could do all all of that hip exploration with your hands down and then from here we find our way into side angle pose so the left leg lengthens back and then knee lifts 
The left arm reaches over, lift with the chest. You'll be facing the opposite way from where you started because I turned around. So it's quite a nice one for a mandala kind of sequence if you want to flow in all directions. And then lastly, come back to where you started with the triangle pose. So you can feel how does this feel in relation to where you started? What's happening with the hip and the breath and the spine and the awareness? Opening out with the chest. And gently coming up from there. Releasing, good. Feel free to rest for a little while. I'll take you through on the other side. Join in when you're ready. Turning for Trikonasana with your left leg, left side. Opening and reaching as high or as low as you want to go, with or without props, whatever works for you. Turning, reaching up with the chest. Maybe the right arm wants to come behind to get a little bit more, that sense of rotating the torso. You might want to notice the tailbone and kind of hug in and down as if you're sinking towards or through that right heel. You could even turn that left arm out more so your shoulders opening a bit more, the chest is opening a bit more. Good, get ready to turn your pelvis. You might wanna bring your bricks with you. Oh, they're probably, yeah, turning, turning, maybe hands on the legs, or hands on the bricks, or hands on the floor. So this is Parsvottanasana. Once the hands are down, it's easy to lift that back foot if you're feeling like you need to. Be aware of the hips, particularly this left hip now, and maybe that sense of feet sinking below earth and then that sense of drawing some length along the spine. You could also imagine drawing back on that left outer hip and see how that feels. Often we pull forward a little with the hip. It's not wrong or dangerous, but it can just feel interesting to vary the alignment. When you're ready, find a twist pose. We looked at it from below, reaching up or reaching up with the shoulder. And we looked at it from above, reaching high with the right arm and reaching forward, opening the chest as you come across and down, or maybe just staying high. So have a play, see what works for you today. What kind of rotation comes at the shoulders? Keep that back foot really pressing. That anchor means you can turn into the twist more. And when you feel ready, you might want to stay low with your arms or you can lift them, but you're going to swivel around. I'm going to swivel to face you. <laughs> Remember, if your ankles don't like this kind of inward position, you can probably find a way to go more narrow with the feet and have the feet down. If you take the arms forward, you'll be getting a little bit more length in those tissues around the outer hips. In the muscles, in the fascia, the connective tissue. When you've had enough of an explore here, feel free to take your knees down to the ground. You might wanna keep the hips up and lean the arms forward. You might want to sit low. <laughs> this is often one that really gets to people. It can feel quite intense. So just see what you're comfortable with. The great thing about the poses is there's so many ways to approach them. So really we're just seeing what brings awareness, what brings some novelty, what wakes us up to being in this body, to being present with this life force, this moment of existence. <laughs> a bit of hip intensity will often do that for you. Good, take your time and when you feel ready, let yourself lift up. Use your hands for balance if you need. A little bit of a lift and then a bit of a balance challenge. Freeing up that left leg and taking it out to the side. Good, and then some quite freestyle movement here. A little bit of exploration as you flex the hip a little bit more yeah, out to the side. You might want to have the hands down so you can kind of explore different movements more. 
And notice how being in the body affects the breath, how the movements affect the breath. Maybe you just want to lean to the side and then prepping to lift up through that right foot, right knee. Feeling that length along the legs, the rotation of the chest. Really strong all the way to the outer edge of that right foot. Good, and then just starting to lengthen back through the leg into your triangle. You can go narrower, of course, if you prefer. It might be nice to try slightly different shape. Good, and then let your awareness be in the body and let yourself see what's happening, what happened during this practice. Whenever you feel ready, coming up from there, bring the legs together. And just pause into Dasana, whatever version works for you, feet together or feet apart. Good, I'm gonna leave you there, so close your practice in any way that suits you and thanks for sharing.